like it's gonna be a pretty day today a few clouds but a lot more sun good morning down the road from us a ways for Simmeroy uh, here's a fish hatchery and every year fish and game and that hatchery gives away some steelhead and so looky here what we got gotta get them filleted now but they're kind of let's see if I can get them out of this bag here <laughs> they're not coming out pretty good size there we go Pretty good sized guppies. They're kind of, they're discolored because they're spawned out. They're not all that great for um, eating like on the barbecue, but they'll be good in the smoker. giving them away again today so I just stopped by and they gave me two more of them <laughs> I like smoked fish I'm not big on fish otherwise well them fish smoked up pretty good uh, had one for lunch one little piece of it anyway and pretty tasty for being spawned out nasty looking steelhead <laughs> But, uh, boy, I didn't get very far today. I ended up uh, doing that and worked up the arena and the racetrack for the barrel racers. The, today is April 1st, so the fairgrounds is officially open. And they're down there. Let's see somebody running around. They're down there barrel racing right now. first event of the year but it's just a weekly club and uh, after that I ran into the junkyard and uh, looked for hillbilly's driveline and we I think we found him one I hope we we ended up getting it bought anyway and sent it off or going to send it off and uh, Hope it works. <laughs> but I got that done. Then my uncle stopped by and he says his trailer axle broke on his tractor. Or not trailer, his front axle broke on his tractor. I thought, well, how did you do that? He says, well, it just fell off. So I went to go see what he was talking about. Turned out the, the tire was off of it. And I'm not exactly sure just what happened there but it it wasn't broke anyway but that took an hour or so it was sitting on the ground and trying to get it lifted up where we could um, get the tire back on and now today is Monday so it's time to do a little bit of this beaver tail stuff every Monday until this Basically, oh, that's heavy. Um, basically, bark tea is gone. And you dump out a little bit of that bucket and add a little bit more from this bucket. These seem to be coming around, coming along pretty well. Okay, prop this up here. three inches of this
Stir this up good. And fill it up again. Well, those are looking pretty good. I did a couple of days ago when I come out to stir them. I did uh, cut a little chunk off of the the thick end. They're still pretty white in the middle, which I expected. This is going to take at least a month, maybe a little more. Two months maybe but that's spark tanning bark tanning is really slow tomorrow uh, <laughs> if things go a little bit better I've got this deer hide that I raw hided out years ago and I found it down in that shed I've been cleaning out I want to try making some bark tan leather out of it. I've never tried anything except for the beaver tails. Well, I need to take care of this. Sitting in this water like that, it's going to go bad if I don't get after it. This is kind of a... I'm going to get back into the water. This is kind of a big um, barrel. I need something a little smaller. It would take too much bark if I don't. Anyway, like I said, I, <laughs> I didn't get very far today. I set out to do a lot of things. I got some of them done, but didn't get very far at all from the things I wanted to get done. But tomorrow's another day, so hopefully see you tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.